I am not sure why anyone continues to watch me. I am genuinely not a very interesting person. Yet, here we are. And today I am here to tell you about some things of my that happened in my Christmases over the years. Hi, this is KJ. Welcome to Beyond Books, if you haven't been here before. Um, I don't know why you're here, because... I, I don't get it, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. So you ready to hear about my Christmases? They're all exactly the same. Okay, bye. What? Oh, my manager's telling me that I have to tell you more. Crud. Okay, well... Um... I mean, we we do the same thing every year. I, I'm not going to, like, tell you about specific Christmases. We don't really have much special. There's a few, I guess, unique ones, if you want to listen. I totally get it if you just want to go. Um, so, yes. In the month of December leading up to Christmas, we watch a bunch of Christmas specials. I'd probably know them all by heart by now. Muppets Christmas Carol, Garfield's Christmas, A Wish for Wings That Work, Mickey's Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, A Charlie Brown Christmas, The Grinch, The Hand Animated One, Not the Movies, Scrooged, Christmas Vacation, A Christmas Story, I can't believe I forgot this one in the script, and Amends from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I just named literally every single one. There is something wrong with me. And then my own tradition that... Kai, and by extension, my other sister hates, because my little sister copies everything Kai does, it's annoying, um, is that I will wear a Christmas hat, every like a Santa hat, every single day of December until Christmas. Kai said that I'd have to wash my hat every day if I wore it to, wore it to school this year because, you know, global pandemic and all, and my mother backed her up, but I found a loophole. I have a tiny top hat barrette that I wear to holiday concerts, which, not gonna lie, not having concerts is probably the best part of 2020. But my little hat is so adorable, and it's not actually a hat, it's a barrette, so not only do I not have to wash it, but I also can't! I mean, I would just wash my Santa hat, but Kai is in charge of the laundry, and it usually takes me a week to get my favorite sweatshirt back, and so... I wouldn't get to carry out my tradition of driving everyone crazy by wearing a Santa hat every day, so... We also have an elf on the shelf. I'm sure you know what it is, but if you don't, it's basically one of these creepy little guys who stare at you unblinkingly, probably plotting your death. They sometimes need to be summoned of a book, like mine, because he's lazy and doesn't feel like checking a hecking calendar. My family named mine Toby because we couldn't remember the name of the elf from Rudolph and I thought it was Toby because I'm dumb. Apparently we forgot the internet existed for some reason. I did the same thing to our cat. We always named our cats after gods like Loki, Athena, and Freya. So when we got this cat I was reading Percy Jackson and was on the book of Bianca. So I suggested Bianca since she was a demigod in Percy Jackson and my mom apparently thought that Bianca was the name of an actual god, so she went, yeah. They mostly just called Bianca Mrs. Kitty or Chonk, so I don't have to be constantly reminded that I'm a moron, though, which is nice. One year we were opening presents, and I unwrapped Minecraft. This was when I'd first discovered it. I don't know how long it had been out, because I don't remember what year this was, but I believe it was during the first Minecraft craze, before it died out and came back. At least I think I I think it died out. I don't know, I don't pay attention to trends very well. It's fine. You can call me a boomer. Anyway, I unwrapped Minecraft and screamed like an excited girly scream. I ran around my house because it was a giant loop, so I just like ran in the loop over and over again. If I tried to do that today, I'd face plant into a wall because my dad decided to add one. I find it very annoying. If I get killed by a serial killer, you know why. Anyway, yeah. That was probably the most dramatic reaction I've ever had to a present, and to a wall being put up in my house. Last year, we had a family gathering. Wow, it sounds weird to say that. Less than a year ago, I was celebrating Christmas with my family. Feels like an eternity ago. Anyway, I was at my grandma's house, and my little cousins were there. One of them was sick, but their mother decided to take them there anyway because she's a genius. This was pre-quarantine, don't worry. It wasn't what you think it is. What you think it is. Even 
though I was barely around my cousin, I somehow caught her illness. Now here's a little lesson about my immune system. It's like that big wall from Avatar around Omashu or whatever it's called. It is really strong. Germs rarely get through it. But if they do, I'm host. I genuinely will feel like I'm going to die if I get the common cold. I'm sure you can see where this is going. This illness had me writhing in pain on the, on my couch. Literally, I would just lay there and just all of a sudden, I would start writhing in pain because it was so bad. Then it would stop and then it would do it again. It didn't make me feel nauseous, but it did affect my appetite. I just didn't have the motivation to eat. Like, I'd sit there staring at my hot wings because it was New Year's Eve, and my brain reacted the same way to the idea of eating as to the idea of running a 10k. Shut up, I'm lazy. I tried to sleep, but it was New Year's Eve, and I wanted to see the countdown, and I was too tired to sleep, so even though I felt like I was dying, I just got up and hung out for several hours until the it was New Year's Day, and then I promptly collapsed unconscious. I was sick the next day, or I was still sick the next day, and was barely awake for most of the day. I love how I rarely see my cousins, but when I do, they try to kill me. You know, I never asked my parents if I could say this, but heck with it. My birthday is only 12 days after Christmas. I kind of hate it because it makes me feel like such a financial burden. I mean, I could just ask them to count my presents as Christmas and my birthday, but I'm also very greedy. I mean, every child is basically not every child I, I shouldn't speak for all of us I should probably just shut up it's kind of like how I hate that I that my parents have to spend so much money on food for me but also I kind of have to exist maybe I'll cure cancer or wipe out the human race or something only one way to find out this year for Christmas I'm hoping for a drawing tablet and a Mandalorian helmet <laughs> Those are both rather expensive, so maybe I'll get one for Christmas, one for my birthday. Maybe I won't get them at all because I'm too cocky. I don't know. Because I'm a piece of garbage. <laughs> I just kind of want to make my sister even more embarrassed by me by wearing a Mandalorian helmet around at school as a mask. <laughs> I probably won't be allowed to do it, but I'm going to try. If you're bored or something, put what you want for Christmas in the comments. I don't know, just some fun little game or whatever I don't even know i'm just bored too you don't have to though and with that i don't really have anything else to say i've wasted however many minutes of your time and i feel quite accomplished just kidding i'm sorry about that but i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time bye
I forgot his freaking wings. Fa la 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 la, my life sucks.